here's my final point about the Democratic debates, um, you know, the, uh, the highlight version of the Democratic debates. Uh, I think right now within the Democratic uh, bid for presidency to, to see who's going to be the candidate, um, there are a lot of people who would make excellent cabinet members. Um, I, my, my top choice is Tulsi. But I think uh, with Tulsi, because she's so good with foreign affairs, uh, and because she is, uh, she's she's a, a veteran. Um, she was in the medical unit of the army. She's seen the theater of war. She's seen how bad that theater really is. You know, this is like it's hor horrific. It's basically like if you went to a sh like a, a Shakespearean park, put together by like very amateur short form improv performers but then uh you gave them all rpgs like that's how bad the theater of war is and she knows that so i think that's why i that's why i like and she also talks about decreasing the military budget uh, to reallocate those funds to make sure that it's going to domestic affairs that's part of the reason why i like tulsi uh the other reason why uh, i think tulsi would be good is because, like she's just a peace person, right? And she's got she's got ideas to pit the system of capitalism against itself to make sure that some of these bigger progressive ideas actually get implemented. Uh, I think Bernie as a VP would be dope because I think that would connect Bernie right back into the into the the Senate uh, and the House, you know, right back into Congress. Um, plus, he's really good on domestic issues. So he can kind of be that advisor that Tulsi probably needs on implementing and and setting the motions to create better progressive domestic policies. Uh, Andrew Yang, you, uh, you, you put him in charge of labor because he's going to look into the foresight of automation and create plans and create legislation that would push that forward. Um, Jay Inslee, you could have him be part of the environmental thing because that's his big thing. He keeps, he's one of those dudes that he keeps talking about uh, the environment. Uh, Bill de Blasio, you put Bill de Blasio in the fucking corner of the room with a goddamn dunce cap on and you just don't let him talk for like eight years. You just don't let Bill de Blasio talk. That's what you do with that guy. There's a couple other people that like I didn't really see uh, Cory Booker we, you uh, you make Cory Booker sample every drug that he has backed uh, every pharmaceutical company that's given him uh, money he has to take one of their pills that's how you deal with Cory Booker Kamala Harris can go to prison just to see what her system does and then maybe she'll be on the on the track to like reform that system but my point, my point is, my point is, I think er, uh, there's a uh, there's a number of people on that Democratic stage uh, that can be a part of the next administration if the Democrats are willing to win. That's something else that has been proposed to me. Uh, do you think the Democrats uh, were winning? I, I was saying with somebody and they and they meant, uh, and they asked me that question. Do you think the Democrats even want to win? At this point, I'm not. I don't know. Kamala Harris can't beat Trump because Trump's one of those people that if you feed him a little bit of information, he'll grab onto it and he'll blow it way out, way bigger, of, make it way bigger than what it is. So, what do we have to be worried about with any of these candidates? With Biden, there's a ton of stuff to be worried about. Anita Hill, the possibly misogynistic op-ed piece, the segregationists. It's a terrible criminal bill. Uh, and then I'm sure Trump would use his connection to Barack Obama. Of course he is. Kamala has a ter terrible record. Cory Booker's taking money from the pharmaceutical industry, so I'm sure he'll be like, how can you be... Like, if you feed that information to him, he'll make it a big thing about, like, how can you say that you're going to regulate the pharmaceutical industry when they've paid your bills for so long? Which is a fair question, and it's a question that everybody should be asking. But I, I guarantee you, Trump will hit him hard, and it, it's not going to get people. Well, first of all, progressives aren't going to vote for the people, so progressive vote is already kind of split. 
But with someone like Tulsi, are you really, do you really think that Trump going after a veteran, uh, on, on the turn, on the subject of making a peace negotiation and talking about deals, and Trump loves to talk about deals, uh, in that term, do you really think he's, he's going to be able to stand by a veteran? Not just that, but also an Indian woman, a practicing Hindu, she, she kind of clicks off the, the identity politics things for a lot of mainstream Democrats, and the only thing he might be able to do is maybe say something about Assad, right? Which will then go back to Russia, which then is complicated for Trump. Like, Tulsi Gabbard is too much of a red flag for Trump. He can't hit her on anything. He can, he can attack Bernie for his age, and he can attack Bernie for being too radical. But he can't do that with Tulsi. He just can't. That's that's another reason why I'm back in Tulsi. So we got to think about that. And I think there's a lot of people on, on that debate stage that would make excellent, excellent can uh, cabinet members. Um, so I don't think, you know, like if Andrew Yang doesn't win, um, if you were smart, you would put him on your cabinet. And I think, and I think someone like Tulsi would. Uh... There's this thing that I was watching today, too, uh, as a final note, is um, I was watching this video, and they were like, oh, Tulsi went over and, you know, gave a big hug to Joe Biden. I think she's going for that VP ticket because the DNC is still backing Biden, which I don't think they are. I think they're actually going to go and back uh, Elizabeth Warren. I mentioned that in a, in a previous road reflection before. Um, but I think they'll back, I think they'll back more before, soon. It's, uh, well, they have already kind of done that, right? And I think they're doing that to split Bernie, Bernie votes and Tulsi votes. Um, but that's, she's going to become a, she's going to become like a DNC darling pretty soon. Um, and she went over and gave him a hug and she, they were like, oh, she's vying for the VP ticket. It's like, why would you, what? Like for Biden? No, I don't think she's doing that at all. I think she's probably going over there, giving him a hug and being like, your time's done. Your time's done. You know, like at the end of Endgame, whenever, uh, spoilers, whenever Tony Stark dies and they were just like, um, hey, you're good. The work is done. Everybody's safe. And then Tony Stark gets to die. It, that, I think that's like what Tulsi's doing is like she goes over and she gives him a hug and she's like, we're going to be okay. We don't need you anymore, Joe. We're going to be okay. And then like Joe can just fucking disappear. Like he can fuck off into the, into Delaware into like a tax haven like he can become another tax haven in Delaware hey everyone uh, thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it please like and share it uh, these are little clips from a little segment I do called road reflections where uh, I go live on my Facebook page uh, and talk about current events creativity uh, touring what's going on uh, in, in my life. So if you enjoy this kind of content, you can go and like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Krish Mohan. Ha ha. Uh, I'm also performing live stand-up comedy all around the country. If you enjoyed these uh, little snippets of sociopolitical commentary, uh, it's very similar to what my stand-up comedy is. You can go to ramennoodlescomedy.com for all of the show dates and tickets. It's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Uh, and if you want to continue supporting DIY, independent, socially conscious comedy content, you can become a patron today. I don't have uh, a and corporate sponsors or any small business sponsors just yet. So at the moment, I am people sponsored. I'm sponsored by you guys. So you can go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha and become a patron today starting at only $2 a month. You can check out all the tiers and rewards. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you soon.